You can watch this high definition video at jvondy.com, but not here. Hey, hey, jvondy here, gonna show you how to make a normal, boring house beat uh, turn into a super drop bass beat just by simply um, adjusting the velocity. I also have another velocity drum tutorial for the redrum but today we're going to be using the Kong and uh, before we start I just want to let you know I'm going to be using the CV control board here to control the drum sequencer um, I also have videos on how to rig this thing but the control board is going into this combinator drum combinator I set up here which has a Kong in it and in the Kong um, you're going to want to uh, use the NN Nano sampler as your drum module. So this won't work with the physical bass drum or the synth bass drum. Just the Nano uh, sampler drum module. And that's because we're going to concentrate on this velocity area here. So I'll give you an idea of what this sounds like. So just a really simple, boring sounding kick drum and uh, I got matrixes in here so you'll see the kick drum matrix snare drum matrix nothing fancy all the velocity gates going into the Kong are cranked for this kick drum right now all the way up and these velocities are actually controlling this velocity area of the NN Nano sampler. So let me show you what it's going to sound like. I'm going to actually drop the velocities down and it's going to change the sound quite dramatically. Let's check it out. Go back up. So that's the same that's the same kick sample except just we're telling the the drum module to actually play it differently and the way you do that is by setting these velocity gate uh, areas here so if I wanted it to ring out real long I'll drop this down if I want it to be tight bring it up and the way that works is that like anything with a high velocity will actually take control or precedent over this velocity area so a lot of these start in the middle and you can go up or you can go down so in this particular uh, uh, setting the decay is actually at negative 65 so the higher velocity is going to tighten up the sound by dropping the decay release basically and also we're going to drop the pitch and drop the level a little bit for that house beat so if we want to adjust that make it higher pitched on those high velocities or make the decay go far on those high velocities make it bend on those velocities you got sample start time on a high velocity So you guys get the idea. So what's nice is you don't have to like change your preset, um, you don't have to change your drum sample in the sampler, you just have to arrange your, your sequencer or your drummer to actually play it differently. So um, it takes all the craziness out of uh, your live jams and you can just jam it out. So I do have, uh, like I was saying, I do have another video on how to do all this stuff with the redrum. Same kind of thing. And uh, the redrum is basically, I have it set up to really have more of a lively feel like a live drummer sitting in with you. But I'm, try I'm, st I'm starting to get a little bit... Uh, crazy on some of these. Here's another example of uh, the new Kong setup. And you can just jam it up.
prank the delay. <laughs> <laughs>